What's going on guys? Chiz Krita. So, Lamb Dog the other day, uh, he was proposing getting conversation started on uh, manipulation, how it's done, uh, the, the things that people use to get people to uh, basically go against their belief system or give up something uh, as in freedom and or money, whatever. So, I have a background in sales and marketing and uh, I just wanted to go ahead and, and tell you what I know about it. And this is uh, a sales technique that I was taught uh, and mentored with and it's based on four principles. Uh, principle number one, need. What do you need? Principle number two, greed. Principle number three, association. And number four is fear of loss, okay? So now based on these four principles, assuming that uh, someone has an open mind and is willing to listen to you, you should technically be able to manipulate them in your favor to varying degrees. It depends on really critical analyzing skills of the other party. So there's nobody better at this than governments, okay? And I will say, you know, the United States government, you know, Russian government, all, all these governments. Uh, it's propaganda. I mean, they, they figured out early on that propaganda is how you get people to do anything. But you need uh, certain things to go in your favor, okay? So you need, like, the, the fear aspect. Okay, so I'll, I'll bring up something recent. Uh, the gun running deal, Fast and Furious, which is now back in the headlines because it's some huge scandal they're trying to cover up. It was quite obvious and apparent, right, that they were trying to get gun violence in Mexico, link it to U.S. guns, and say, hey, you know, this is a big problem. And this is a propaganda tool known as fear, okay? Fear guns, fear the fact that they're coming from the U.S., it's happening in Mexico, it's going to happen here, okay? So that's the fear aspect. Now, fear being the most powerful motivator, okay, and again, fear falls in the fear of loss category. You're going to lose your life, uh, you know, you're, you're going to lose your children's lives, uh, possible horrible things might happen to you, and, and that's, that's what we're going to use to propagandize guns out of people's hands. <clears throat> uh, the other one, need, okay? You got to have this. You need this, okay? So when we're talking about welfare, well, people are going to starve, guys. People will starve if they don't get welfare, so we need to give them welfare. People go, okay, need. Yeah, I mean, I guess I guess people need to eat. That's also association, okay? I can associate with that. I need to eat. They need to eat. So, um, yeah, that's a need that, that I'm, I'm willing to go along with. Okay, greed is, I believe, the second most powerful. And that is uh, quite apparent all throughout society. Everybody is greedy to some extent. Um, unless you're living literally like Gandhi, you have uh, some some greed in you, okay? And, and greed is how a lot of the financial system in this country works, okay? I'm not saying it's good or bad. What I'm saying is it's a powerful motivator, okay? So they, uh, the, the big financial institutions that lured people into toxic assets, greed, okay? Hey, man, a lot of people are making a lot of money in this. You got to get in on it. You're not going to have the money that we're getting, so on and so forth. So greed, association, need, and fear of loss. Uh, I used to use these techniques all the time, and d depending on the person that, uh, that you're selling to, if you read them properly, and assuming that they're at least open to listen to you, uh, you should be able to get something going. And, and this is, um, even, I mean, everything is propaganda to, to some extent or another, okay? If, if someone is talking and their lips are moving, they've got an agenda, somewhere okay including me everybody that you listen to online so i know a lot of people will say well you're you're doing the fear play and if that's how you interpret it then that's how it comes across and that's that's a pretty valid uh valid assertion you know from your perspective um now i don't i don't throw it out there in in that regard i would say look at someone like uh alex jones okay now he is extreme fear extreme extreme fear um, I don't think that I'm really anywhere even close to that. You know, I say, look, hard times are coming. These are the people who are doing it. But these are some things that you can look for for your own future, for your family. Uh, so you don't have to go through the association aspect of the fear concept <laughs> where uh, bad things do happen to you. And this is, uh, I forget who was talking about it, but someone was talking about firearms and how I think it was Corey he said most people that that have used a gun have no problems with them none whatsoever because that's association you know I've got a firearm I know how to use it 
and you take the uh, the anti-gun fear propaganda aspect out of it, and all of a sudden a gun isn't that scary of a thing. But especially when looking to the government, you know, make sure that you're you're really analyzing everything that's that's coming through with with critical thought patterns. I mean, that's and that's anybody anybody that you listen to. So what's their motivation? You know, what's my motivation? You, you can make your own determinations of that. Um, but what's what's the ultimate outcome? What are, what are they using? What examples are they using out there to get you to change your mind? Okay, for example, most Americans believe vehemently in the Second Amendment rights, uh, and then people will say, well, they'll throw a, a kind of a straw man in there, like the the nuclear bomb thing. I caught a bunch of flack for. Now, this is something that. Uh, I could give you, okay, personally, a pile of uranium ore and say, all right, go for it. Go make a nuclear bomb. Good luck. You'd never be able to do it. You need almost unlimited resources, okay? And, and let's, let's say, uh, you know, you have someone like Richard Branson gets together with Bill Gates and say, all right, we have the resources to build a nuclear bomb. Let's look into this. So they're going to do a case impact study on it, pull the whole idea apart, and they're going to say, okay, this is going to cost us an absolute fortune, probably almost every single penny that both of us have put together to build the centrifuges, the enrichment, uh, testing facilities. It's going to cost a fortune. And what's the outcome? Um, a big explosion. So what, what, where's the motivation there? And again, that's, that's the government. The government says, no, 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 we, we have to have a nuclear bomb. Why? Well, because they might get one. Fear. Fear, again. Uh, and and uh, same thing with uh, nuclear reactors. That's that's an association. Well, you know, we need a nuclear reactor. Why? Again, Richard Branson, uh, if he looked at doing this, he'd say, uh, God, as a business plan, you're going to get electricity, but we can do coal. Um, it costs an absolute fortune. The environmental impact is massive, and there's a potential for huge disaster. So why would I do that? Now, the government will come along and say, no, 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 you, you need a nuclear reactor. Why? Well, look at Japan. Uh, you, you don't want them getting ahead of us, right? You, you want to associate with them. They have this great technological society. And before you know it, there's nuclear reactors all over the place. So the, the motivators, again, are, are powerful tools. And, and you have to look into anyone's argument. If, if you analyze an argument with those four concepts, and those are the concepts that I, I know personally, the concepts that I have used when I was in sales, very effectively. I mean, I was the top grocer in, in my company. Um, if, if you look at things as a salesperson, okay, so if, if you look at me and you say, all right, what's this guy selling? You know, let, let's pick apart his argument. You know, what is he preaching? Feed association, uh, or fee, fear association, uh, and greed, as well as need, you know, so. I don't know. That's my two cents on it, guys. I mean, the, the, the propaganda thing, it, it's, it's like you can use it to explain anything. Why do we need police? We need police because um, murderers will run wild in the street. And you go, oh my god, that's terrible. No, I don't, I don't want murderers running wild. I'd rather have, you know, thuggish police types. You know, so so where, where does it end, though? Where, again, this this is something that I preach on. Where, where are you going to go? And I was doing a little bit of research on Iceland after I referenced it in the last couple of videos. They're actually doing a lot better. And you know what they did at the very beginning when they were held hostage by the banks? They liquidated the banks. They told everyone else to go pound salt. Uh, they divided up whatever was left after liquidating the banks. The population of Iceland uh, basically revolted against the government, voted them all out of office. Now they're going to jail. That's right. Could you imagine that? Some of these guys that caused all this stuff in the beginning, instead of uh, being basically praised as heroes, have them all go to jail. And I was reading an article that said basically they're doing well. Now they're selling like $60 racks of lamb, the, the cafes, the stores, you know, everything's all up and running. And the, the population of Iceland is actually joking about uh, the fact that, uh, you know, they took the hard steps in the beginning and uh, they hit rock bottom real quick. Now they're on their way back out. And we, again, to tie everything in, we're fed this line of propaganda. No, no, no. We have to have bailouts. We have to do this. The ATMs will stop spitting money out. Fear. Association. As well as greed. I mean, that was a... That was a brilliant, brilliant plan that they implemented. And as long as you can deconstruct the argument and, and look at it and logically say, no, I, I don't see how these, these banks' losses are my problem to begin with. And uh, I don't think that it will get that bad. And if it does, you know what? That's really not my problem. 
And uh, we wouldn't be in the mess that we're currently in, and we wouldn't be headed towards the dreaded double dip recession. So that's my two cents on it, Lamb Dog. Um, I don't know if you want to add anything to that or if you have a different perspective. I'd love to hear it. Like, 